Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with another new video. Oh my god, Dave's making videos again. It seems like he's actually going to stick with it. Don't get your hopes up. You know how bad I am at this. I wanted to make today's video because uh, it's 4 a.m. nearly. It's 3.36 in the morning. I discovered something cool that I'm surprised I had never heard of called uh, wall paper main uh, wallpaper something on steam i found it on steam and it lets you do animated wallpapers and that's something i've been looking for for a long time because i missed my old dream scenes now it should make sense where my url comes from for my youtube channel so i made this youtube channel a lot of you guys are very new to my channel uh Mr. Dream Scene was the original name for this channel. It was a second channel I was creating for sharing animations that I would find online that I really liked and I would provide download links for them. Recently, I decided to put back up as public some of my favorite animations that I had uploaded from back in the day. I need to hide this because this is useless. I need to make that private, but that's for later. I also need to change some of these, but I wanted to show you guys how to convert old school Windows Dream Scenes into, uh, god damn it, you would think I would know what this is called, uh, wallpaper something, wallpaper something, what are you, wallpaper engine, Jesus Christ, it's too late, I wanted to show you guys how to convert old school Windows Dream Scenes into use on new wallpaper engine stuff. So one of my favorite personal uh, wallpapers was always either Surreal Dream Scene or this DNA one or the Cybersphere. I really like this one as well though, but I'm gonna do my favorites because this is my video. <laughs> oh God, I'm a loser. Uh, wow, some of these got a lot of views, holy shit. Uh, but as you can see, the Cybersphere animation, I'll do this one. I recently went through, I modified all of these, and uh, put away in the description to download these. So if you just click the link in the description, it'll take you to this website to do a YouTube conversion of the video. Simply hit search. Wait a second, it's a little bit slow. Download it, change it to MP4, and click download. No. Okay, maybe I'm not using this. I'm not a robot, damn it. Okay, I'm not going to be using this. I'm going to find another way to do this, but so far this was the only one that actually worked, so that's why I used this one. But, uh... There we go. So, Cybersphere Animation. There we go. So, that's going to download real quick. As you can see, it's right there. And now you want to use Wallpaper Engine to make your dream scene. So what you want to do is click uh, up here, Wallpaper Editor, and you want to create wallpaper. So you want to go Download, which is where mine is, Cybersphere Animation, uh, Color. Right now we're just going to click Blue. That's not a huge deal. Uh, I'll explain that later. You're going to click that, and as you can see, now this is being considered as a wallpaper. Oops, I did not want volume. But as you can see, I can like stretch this out, I can see it, I can full screen this to see the full preview, and that's pretty much it. So now from there, you just want to click save, and then you can quit that. And as you can see, Somewhere in here is Cybersphere Animation. And that's it. That's how easy it is to convert an old school dream scene into a wallpaper engine animation. And then from there, something that I personally, I have it dis uh, disabled, but the scene, scheme color, scene color, scheme, scene, ween, peen, I don't know what that says. Uh, but basically what this does is it'll change your Windows color layout to match some of the colors in the animation or wallpaper. Personally, I don't use that uh, because I like my black wallpaper. It's all customized and everything. Um, the animation, one thing that's really nice about this is you can see how fast it's playing right now. You can slow it down if you want to. 
Now this isn't a very good animation. Remember this is a 30 FPS animation because this is so old and off of YouTube. So you're probably gonna wanna leave it at 100 or double it up. So again, not the best way to do it, but there's several looping animations out there and I always hear people talk about it all the time. Oh, this would be a cool wallpaper, but I don't know how to make it a looping animation to put it as my wallpaper. Here you go, that's all it takes. And then if you want to actually do more with it and actually publish it, you can come in here, you can go Steam, um, prepare for publishing, Cybersphere animation. This is just something that's abstract. Um, actually, I would consider this more sci-fi, I guess. Or CG, no, yeah, sci-fi, I guess. I guess it doesn't have to have an anim or a description, but uh, old school Win Seven Dream scene in wallpaper engine. There we go. And then age rating. This is gonna be everyone easily because that's not much. Take a snapshot. Uh oh uh. uh Come on. There we go. And I think this is still recording. I don't know how much of that you guys saw because for some reason this minimized. Um, and then, like I said, if you want to get the coloration right, I like things that are dark, so I'm gonna set it that way. And then you click publish, it'll upload to the Steam Workshop. And guess what? I have my animation on Steam Workshop. It's that easy for this. Now I just gotta wait for the upload of the actual wallpaper. And it's uploading the preview. Show wallpaper in Workshop. Whoa. <laughs> and there we go. This is my first item ever put on the Steam Workshop. So if you guys wanna go find it, you know where to find it. Um, but I'll be doing a ton more of these because I really do miss my animated wallpapers. I have theme packs that I can do, but I don't have any other dream scenes at the moment that I can do, except for that other one that you saw at the beginning of this video where it was the red background. What I was trying to do earlier was archive.org. The website dreamscene.org disappeared. It's gone now, officially. Somebody they didn't pay for it and finally got rid of the freaking website so the problem with this is now i can't download from my old favorite place the only stuff you can download here is the only one you can find here come on i think it's slash dream slash yeah so the only one you can actually get is Red Winter, which is that first one you guys saw, but all the theme packs are still here. So it's a blessing and a curse, but I'm sure there's other places online to download win uh, Dream Scenes. Windows Dream Scene Animations. Uh, let's see. Yeah, because their website's gone. Here you go, right there. So yeah, they have some stuff from uh, Win Customize. It looks like those would be very easy to convert as well. Um, but again, I'll figure that all out in the future. You can also definitely easily get this stuff off YouTube. Uh, Dream scenes, and as you can see, here's 109 Dream Scene wallpapers right here. Here's another 35, 122, or uh, another 22 of them. Very simple to find these dream scenes and use them and download them. So obviously dreamscene.org, they are no longer with us, rip, but you just simply go do that. And that's actually where I originally got these was dreamscene.org. I'm gonna convert that to MP4 and I'm gonna do this really fast. 
to show you literally how easy it is. Now I probably should have done it in a new tab, but you know, that's my own stupidity. It's called PowerCell, not, e not hard to f uh, remember. We'll close this and we're gonna do a new one. Literally that simple to make these. So this one was called PowerCell. Sure, that's fine. And that's it because I don't personally do anything else. So this is another sci-fi Windows 7 Dream Scene for Windows or Wallpaper Engine. There we go, and then take snapshot. Hit enter, that takes the snapshot. This is for everyone, it's not a big deal. Public, and we'll do this. And then publish. That easy to convert these old Windows Dream scenes into new uh, wallpaper engine files. So I'm gonna be doing this a lot and I'll have my workshop link in the description. And as you can see, there you go. Again, once again, it's up and on uh, the Steam Workshop. So it's all good to go. I can put it on my own computer as well real quick to show you guys. Uh, PowerCell, PowerCell. And there we go. That's it. That's all it took. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I kind of babbled on for a minute, but this is very simple. Just wanted to get all the info out there and show you how easy it was. Talk to you guys later. Peace out. Oh, eventually I'll do more advanced tutorials on this, like uh, music and stuff like that. And as you can see, one of the problems with using old school Windows Dream scenes is there is sometimes a stutter or it's not a perfect loop. Keep that in mind. But it's still pretty cool to see that these still work in 2019. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.